Hello everyone, welcome to episode 21 of the Dion Museum. I've been having some, you know, issues with the, you know, the computer CPU problem, something, 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 not working, something, something, hiatus, something, something, or something along those lines. Yeah, it's actually a bit of a risk recording this right now, because for all I know, it might just go poof. So, I'm keeping an eye on it. But I'm, like, if anything looks like it's about to go wrong, I'm gonna, like, save the recording straight away or something before something terrible happens again. <laughs> like, all you people, you don't know all the hard work I go through. All you people, you're just gonna flock to the comments to type first, or can, or whatever. But and I'll be here, just crying, and you'll never understand my pain. You'll never understand it, no matter how many times you type cam. So stop typing cam. I have a lot of missions to play today, so actually, I should probably not be spending so much time doing an intro, because I have all these missions to play. Now, someone who was interested in series sent me this mission pack he made. It's called DBZ Overlord 700, I think. Um, that might not be right. I forgot to bring my notes up. Honestly, my biggest concern is my computer exploding, so... I'm not too concerned about notes, but... Yeah, let's just start from the beginning. I might split this one to two. It starts with James Bond, welcome to K Koas. I'm going to ex assume that's not a spelling mistake, and Koas is some sort of, you know, weird name for a new city or something. I don't know. You never know, you know. But yeah, it's obviously James Bond sent thing, so hopefully this works. I don't need this not working on top of everything else. Please, please, thank you. Okay, thank goodness. But yeah, obviously I have to record even things aren't going well, so I have to take the risk. Hey, I've got it right. James, I'm off your boss. James, Jones, Foley, is that skate park? Something, something, one of them are dead. I'm on it. Okay, I think I got the gist of it. Someone wants someone dead at the skate park, so I should kill them. Jones, Foley. So I'm on James Bond. I assume so. I'm on it. I mean, this is about as James Bond as it gets, just sitting on top of a building with a sniper. Um, which one's Jones Valley? Oh, it's that guy, I think. Um, that guy's a minigun. Maybe I should kill him first. There we go. Um, everyone looks surprisingly unfazed by that person just dropping dead next to them. I thought they like, eh, hey, he probably just had a heart attack, whatever. Well, what about this guy? Bet he didn't have a heart attack. <laughs> now they're wondering where it came from. <laughs> I guess my heart attack theory was right. Eliminate the rest of the dealers. So, they're just going to be looking around in confusion for where I am. How come only that guy's looking? Everyone else just looks completely, they just don't care. They're just like, oh, I'm not paid enough to deal with snipers. <laughs> well, whatever, I'm not complaining. Whatever makes my job easier, I'm Jim Bond. The only reason I'm such a good spy is because no one else gives a toss. <laughs> agency, is he dead? I guess agency through the earpiece. Uh, yeah, him and those dealers are dead. Yay, I saved the day. Good, we're coming to pick you up. Oh. Oh. <gasps> no! Oh my god, I accidentally fell down a big hole. I didn't realise I was a big hole. Oh god. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, seven minutes later exactly. That's very precise. Agency. Nice job killing Joe's fella. Is his name Agency? Go rest tomorrow or something. Oh good, these missions are short. Thank goodness. I was worried all of them were going to be epic sagas. Because that would have just made this even more difficult to get through. But that makes things a bit more bearable. <sighs> Well, that was easy. Even just kill some guys that could, couldn't even see me. They were just like, "What's going on?" Heart attacks. Good, good, well, good. Now we're at a motel, doing our spy missions at the motel. I assume. There doesn't seem to be many objectives, but you know, receiving. Ag Mr. Agency says the Jefferson Motel is overrun by Fred Gorman's men. Oh my God! Need more time to read. I'm sorry. Can you just make the cutscenes a bit longer, please. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Head to the Jefferson Motel. It's like if he was giving me a briefing, he was like, we'll have to go out to lunch in a second, so, uh, Fred Gorman, go kill him in a motel, bye. It's like if he's in a big rush, and he can't give me all the detail, but, you know, I'm sure you can get by on that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure, that's bearable. But thanks for missions, um, Mr. Overlord. Obviously, it takes a lot of time to, you know, make a giant mission pack, and the fact that you sent it to me means you trust me a lot to not make complete mockery of your mission. So I'm just pointing point out some flaws, of course. You know, it doesn't have to have the best plot in the world. It's just, you know, a spy, a spy story in a, in San Andreas. And it's a motel via the roof entrance that no one is guarding. They guard the front door. Well, no, they didn't guard the front door. Might as well have just gone in through the front door then. Whatever. Roof entrance. Head downstairs. Da, 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 da. No way, that's mission possible, isn't it? That's the wrong series entirely. Hello. Um, do I have to stand here? Can I not kill him? Who the hell is he? Who? How do they see me? I don't remember seeing him. 
I think he's across the new side of the hallway. Oh, he must have glass eye. He's like, whoa, we'll get rid of him. Not very spy anymore. Our spy mission has been blown quick. Kill everyone. Yeah, this is how all spy missions end, isn't it? <laughs> just, well, we've been spotted. I'm gonna then just kill everyone instead. Oh god. Those guys are just peeking around corners instead of shooting me. I mean, again, anything that makes my job easier, I don't mind. Ow! Uh, 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 no, 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 Ow! Oh my god, that was a really close shot, that one. Okay. Uh, god damn it, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, good. Good, I got him, I got him. Um, you keep doing nothing, please. Oh, he didn't listen to my instructions. Alright, let's just kill him then. <sighs> Why wouldn't you just stand there and let me shoot you? That would have been so much easier for all of us. Is there any... Oh, there's no. I was hoping for some armor or something. Whatever. Okay, let's shoot him down there, all the way down there. I am the best spy. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. How close can I get before these guys do something? Okay, no shotguns, please. Hello? Oh, now he wants to do something. Okay, let's stop taking risks because I'm about to die. <laughs> okay, um, I swear I'm good at this game. I was just taking some silly risks. Oh, oh god. Stop shooting me, please. Stop, let's shoot him! Okay. Everything's fine, don't worry. Anyone in this room? Okay, good. Right. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Uh, stop peeking around the corner. Uh, 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 oh! I shouldn't have failed that. That wasn't that bad. But I shall do it. I shall beat this mission. Oh, um, go free the motel from his men. Free the motel. You make it sound like the motel's the hostage. <laughs> They've taken the motel hostage. That poor motel. How will it survive? He must free the motel, or else he'll never be able to see his wife and kids, Mrs. Motel, <sighs> and its little, little son daughter motels. They are just little motels, they won't survive in the big world without the experience of this big motel. So I'll give my full impressions of the entire mission pack at the end. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be splitting this in half or not. Half or not. <laughs> splitting this into half. I don't think so, you know, uh, something sounds weird about it. I don't know, can I just shoot him? There you go. <laughs> Done deal, can I just jump over this? Oh. oh. It would have been nice to just run through with no one there. Okay, there we go. Skip, skip, skip. Eliminate all of Fred Gorman's men. Okay, I can do that. No problemo. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, where's that armor? There's armor. Well, there's not armor here. Oh, it was in that room, wasn't it? In this room. Yeah, there we go. I knew I was missing it. Somewhere. Okay, let's be more careful this time. Uh, uh. <sighs> Can't believe you just bought this rubbish science pistol. And he instantly got spotted the second he tried to sneak into this building. Like, he sneaked around one guy and was like, there he is. Probably wouldn't have been better off just going through the front door anyway. I knew that was the best strategy. Hey, stop shooting me. I am good. Oh, kill him, kill him, kill him. He's running up to me with that shotgun. I don't want to give him any more chances. I've already had enough of this mission. I want to move on. I want to see more of the exciting story. What will the agency make me do next? Find out next time. Oh god. Now I have a shotgun for some reason, but... As I said in Bioshock, shooting things with shotguns is very much fun, so... I'm not complaining. But... Uh, <sighs> shotgun people are, are like stunners. <laughs> pretty annoying, I'd say. Pretty annoying. Stop shooting me, please. <sighs> Okay, I better be more careful. I'm gonna die again this way. Okay, um, there's someone else down there. Is there anyone around here? Oh, God. What? <sighs> how did that happen? I couldn't see him. And how how did that one shot kill me when I survived? I didn't. Oh. <laughs> the second mission, everyone. All I have to do is kill some people. I can't even do that. I'm definitely gonna split into two now. Da, ba, 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 testing my skill. Hey, there's a back here. Was this back here before? Well, it must have been. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. I go. Oof. Sorry. That telephone pole took me by surprise. It's okay. I can just drive up these stairs with a motorbike. As all stealthy spies do. Nothing more stealthy than jumping in the place with a motorbike. That makes things difficult when you shoot me. I would like you to not shoot me. You too. Just, everyone, just don't shoot me. Just let me pass. Just come on. Give a little bit of... Oh, God. <sighs> give a... Give a secret stealth spy a bit of, um... You know, a bit of ease. I mean, it's been a hard day, you know. I just like one easy mission. 
By the way, I'm James Bond. I don't look much like James Bond. Well, I suppose I could be. I could be like Sean Connery's James Bond. I look a bit like him. Maybe. Depending on how you look at it. I don't know. We need a side-by-side -side view. Let's let's do it now. Let's a uh, side-by-side -side view of them. They won't be at all similar. Maybe there's another James Bond that could be. I don't know. I don't remember all their faces. There's a lot of them. Oh. Even though I remember all the names. Hold on, let's do a test. It's uh, Sean Connery, Roger Moore, Pierce Brosnan, Timothy Dalton, Dalton, George Lazenby, and Daniel Craig. There you go. I know all their names. I don't know anything else about it, but I know all their names. All the actors' names. Therefore, that makes me an expert. How am I going to deal with this guy when they... Okay, um, which one am I looking for? I don't know. I'm scared from what happened last time. Is it down there? Oh god. Why is he shooting at me? You can't see me at all. Surely. Ow! What? This is absolute bollocks. I'm telling you what. How can he see me from there? <sighs> okay, it seems to be delayed. Um. Um. Okay, shoot again. Um. Oh god! <clears throat> Why are there so many? No! Not the heaven! <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? What do you want from Mr. Mr. DBZ Overlord? Tip for next time, right? Don't give everyone shotguns. And lower the accuracy. And do everything that would make this easier. Because you set them up in a place where I can't get them, but they can very easily get me. And they have shotguns. So, that's not good, is it? So, I just crashed straight into that telephone pole. It's like I couldn't even see it. It's like, boop, boop. I'm making a bit of progress. You. Stop it. No, no, no. Okay, good. I don't think any damage has been done. James Bond. No, no, no! You gotta hit off of me. I want to do as little damage as possible, but I don't know how you shot me. Whatever. Shoot him. Just kill everyone. I'm sick of all of you. Just die. Oh my god, how did you hit me from all the way over there? Aimbot. Alright, let's get a bit closer then. If that works. There we go. That should do. You. Die, 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 die! Okay. Anyone? Um... Whoa, how did you get me? Oh, you got... was sawn off. Okay, what do you think chances are of me doing it this time? I want to do this fairly, but... You people don't make it easy, to be fair. I'll tell you what... Oh my god! <sighs> Can I... Ah. Okay, that's one of them out of the way. But there's two here that can shoot me. Um... No! Oh, what? What? I hate you. Like... I don't know what to do. Other than cheat. Like, it's cheating time, because this is bollocks. We'll be able to see if I would have survived anyway, so let's do it quick. Do you think I would have survived? I don't know, someone do the calculations. Maybe I would have actually survived with that. <laughs> but I didn't want to take my chances. I'm sick of this mission as it is. I just want to move on to the next part. Time to leave. Yes, that's what you do after you murder a load of people in a motel 15 minutes later. <laughs> I like the... I like that after each mission it's just like, you know, certain amount of time passes. James, tomorrow you will need to go to San Piero. Fred Gorman has a ship full of dangerous weapons. We need to destroy that ship. Destroy the ship? I don't destroy that ship. How do you destroy a ship? So I guess we're just destroying Fred Gorman's empire. I'm sorry, destroying Fred Gorman's empire. We're, we're dismantling his story to find out what's really behind it all. Okay, next one, quick. Quick, quick, quick. The ship. Oh, it's only third part of this massive mission pack. I hope it's easier than the last one. I barely survived. I'm gonna count it as a survive, because I'm gonna have to calculate in post whether or not that was that actually was survived. Deep Z Overlord again. I didn't expect it to be anyone else, but it could have been. Head to Pier 69. How am I getting to these places? Where did this car come from? They, like, elephed a car to me. Have this car, and we'll we'll dump you like over here, but we won't just put just put you like next to the ship or something, so that you wouldn't have to drive with your random blue green wood, with a black back. Boy colors, ooh, and we're here. Smooth, secret agent style, crashing into everything. Get into position to jump. Why am I jumping off the pier? Because I have instructions. Yeah, just jump off the pier, and everything will work out. This will help kill Fred Gorman and his 
goons that I show you. Oh, there's a ship. Swim to the weapons. That's going to take me all day. You do realise that. Right, there better be a boat around here. Hello, is there a boat? There's not a boat. Well, there's a big boat there. But you can't drive that big boat, plus the big boat is where I'm going. After the Danong Den boys had control of this ship. Or maybe maybe before it. Before the Danong boys got the ship, it's owned by Fred Gorman's goons. And then James Bond boarded it. James Bond. <sighs> Come on, swim faster. Why don't you have any stamina? This would have been bad enough then either way, but now you just have to swim like... Like, like, like you just learned how to swim yesterday. When was the last time you ever did anything stealthy? Everything just blows up. I mean, it's like the opposite of a spy. There's no stealthiness required. I suppose it's more accurate than the actual thing. Head up to the deck. Sneak towards the bridge, sneaky. Why is there no one here? It's a bit weird. That there's absolutely no body. Hello? Okay, there is somebody. They have shotguns too. Well, I guess Fred Gorman is smart. He equips all his guys with shotguns so that... So that, um... I can't possibly survive. Although I don't know where he's getting all these shotguns from. They must be expensive. <laughs> like, so many shotguns. God, I hate that I can't see them on the map. I don't know where they are. Oh god, now I've got two on each side. I hope neither of them turns around unexpectedly. Please. Oh god. Oh, I must missed him. Okay, I got him. Um... Is there one on either side? Uh, yeah, okay, so I should kill him, and then kill the other guy. There doesn't seem much in the way of plot here, you just like, James Bond, you know, sneak on two places and kill everyone. I suppose that's, um, still better than... See, look, he's doing an animation. So it's still good, it's still good. Another thing has to have a... So, oh my god. Good lord. Yeah, um, don't turn around, please. Plant the bomb. Why am I planting the bomb? I don't know. Du, 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 du. Why do I keep doing Mission Impossible? <laughs> What's the James Bond theme? I don't remember. For some reason it's just slipped my mind. I can't remember what James Bond's theme is. Dude, I, all I can think of is Mission Impossible. I don't know why. Something... Oh god. I'm like the worst James Bond ever. Who's talking? Someone keeps threatening somebody, but... Oh god. Well, the cover's blown, but he didn't shoot me, but so it's okay. Keep practicing, and you'll reach Hitman level. Okay, oh, sneaking through a ship, sneaking through a ship. Oh god, I suppose if you can shoot him! This is a disaster, isn't it? Oh my god, don't go around that way, okay. But yeah, I suppose if you're less concerned about story, more concerned about gameplay, this is a mission for you. And really, I don't mind either way, as long as I am successful at it and look amazing. Um, oh, okay, I'll get you as well. God, you people are really observant, you should at least be able to see me in your peripheral vision. Head back to the shore. Or notice, or notice sounds of the other guys dying. Head back to the shore. Oh, I swim all the way to the shore. Oof. Yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna split this into two parts. I'm gonna do the fourth mission, and then I'm gonna split it off into a second part. So, I apologize to, oh, what's his name? Luitger. <laughs> Only people have p names that I can't pronounce, but L-U-I-T-G-E-R, that's his name. And he's made some missions for me, and I'm sorry that I can't play him now, but I wanted to do this guy's mission pack first because he's been waiting since like, I don't know, episode 18. That's not that long actually. <laughs> Most of you people are used to waiting longer really, but, <laughs> you know, I just wanted to get this out of the way now so that I wouldn't forget about it. But yeah, then I'll do the week of the missions and then we'll do something else, won't we? It, you know, I've got it all planned out clearly. <sighs> but yeah, I want to make this relatively short, I don't want it to go on for some ridiculous amount of time doing nothing. Okay, come on. There we go. It's over. Boom. The ship is sinking. Role play. Pretend the ship is sinking. God, that's a lot of explosions though. It looks impressive. It's a shame you can't make ships sink in this. In San Andreas. And then the next mission was called Cargo Ship, so I guess I've gone to go on the other ship. <laughs> Makes sense. It kind of feels like we're just replaying those woozy missions though, as a thing. Like, these are places I've already had missions set, so... It kind of feels like... I don't know, like, you could have said it in a more unique location, that's my opinion. James Bond, we have a port that our cargo ship, San Fierro, belongs to Fred Gorman. Everything belongs to Fred Gorman. We need to explore the ship for anything dangerous. I'm on it. Duh, duh, duh. I need to stop doing Mission Impossible. I don't know, it just sounds right. Mission Impossible beats the James Bond theme, because I can remember the Mission Impossible theme, therefore it must be better. 
you're on the ship and I'm like, you're Wade's hull. It doesn't really make sense for James Bond to be in America when he's like part of the MI5 or whatever it is in, in Britain. See, we have all the best stuff. James Bond and, um, tea and crumpets. That's why, oh god, what's that come from? What are you doing over there? Oh my god, I didn't notice you at all. Good lord. Okay, um, that seems to be it. Hello. Oh, uh, why do you have to shoot me? Okay, hold on, let me shoot you. God, it's a good thing they have terrible shots. I was worried they might actually hit me, but, you know, that was obviously a pointless concern. Climbing a cocoa ship, it feels like I'm playing the Danang Fang all over again. That's why I prefer people send me in locations where missions aren't normally set, because then it feels more, um, interesting. Again, this is constructive criticism, I promise you. Everyone who makes missions for me, uh, they just make like, make, like, the best missions. Why, why do so many people make missions for me? I've had, like, three people make missions for me now, and I don't know why they're doing it, to be honest. I don't deserve it. I'm, you're, you're all too good for me. You're all too good. Okay, jump up there. Oh my god. Hey, have you ever heard of this thing called grabbing onto things? Can you do that? Good, thank you. Like, hello, I'm Jim Bond, I don't know how to grab onto things. Blah, 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 blah. Like, why is it that the surname Bond is so cool? Do you think it was cool before James Bond existed, or has it just been cool because it's in association with James Bond? It's an interesting dilemma. This mark is even in the same place as the Donald Fang thing. The Carpo Fred Gullman's men is here to take him out. Okay, whatever. I would've just killed everyone either way. Kill Fred Gullman's Carpo. Oh! Oh, oh god! He was well hidden behind that box. I did not see him at all. I'm gonna have to look back at the footage. Is there armor here like there was in the actual mission? Oh. Well, that would have been nice. Just in case there's any more guys with shotguns in crazy places. There's my other constructive criticism. Okay. Keep practicing and reach my level. Gotta got get there quicker this way. Oh! Uh, why, why don't any of these people take cover anyway? Well, I suppose that's just... What? <sighs> Time behind the box. Well, I suppose that's just San Andreas. Maybe there's someone with a grenade here as well. <clears throat> well, he doesn't have a grenade, but he's in the same place. It's like... The problem is it seems to be pretty much the same mission except with the Danang boys replaced with other models. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but it kind of seems that way. See, the snake head is on the bridge, kill him! See, <laughs> I'm noticing it's some minor similarities here. Uh, maybe they're just coincidences. But, um... You know, I think you could have done with coming up with... I don't know, a more... How, how do you say, original idea without sounding... Offensive. Just just my two cents. Although I don't have two cents, but you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway. I guess the main difference is we're not saving any refugees or whatever. So I guess that part I guess that part's part of the I guess that part of the mission's different. And no guy with a grenade. He's my favourite part of the mission, the guy with a grenade. I shall miss him. Also I'm going to die, so I hope there's help or something soon. Hello. Help me. Duh, 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 duh. I'm just going to do the Mission Impossible theme from this point on. I'm just going to pretend it's James Bond, because I can't remember the James Bond theme at all, so I might just as well do it. Um, okay, it seems to be safe. And maybe he'll... Okay, let me predict what he's going to say. In the actual mission, he says, Enough! We'll settle this here! And then he gives me a katana. So, let's see if he does that. Please don't tell me he does. Okay, he didn't do that, but this is pretty much the same fight anyway, the same setup, so whatever. There you go, you're dead. Isn't he supposed to be, like... Master of martial arts or something. Like, in both the mission and this, he just acts like he's never held a katana in his life because you can easily just swing it at him and kill him in two seconds. It's mostly because of that troublesome motel mission that's been so long. And I think I beat it, pretty much, for the most part. But yeah, it's been a lot of James Bond killing people, so I've kind of been short on things to say. James Bond killing people in a very similar manner to CJ. Honestly, it makes more sense for James Bond to be killing them. Agent 007, what did you find? A lot of people who I killed, that's what I found. I found Fred Gorman's Carpo and his snake head, but nothing else. His snake head, I don't think that's a position. Good work, head back to Agency of San Fierro, like... Do all Carpos have snake heads above them? I'm on my way. Like, above me, my boss, and then my snake head. Head back to San Fierro Agency. Oh, I have to actually drive back, I never have to do that with any of the others. With the others, it was just like... Seven minutes later, we're back. What's well, seventy-two in this episode before it gets too long? Come on, no one likes long episodes. Well, some people do, but they're weird ones. They're weird, but they're weird ones. The same as if they're not people. They're probably aliens, honestly. So, it's probably a fitting way to 
refer to them. Why are there vendor bikes there? I'm pretty sure they don't spawn there. That would mean that he placed those vehicles there specifically for the mission, but I don't see why he would do that. So it seems a bit odd. Oh. Oof. Spinning out is so much fun. Everyone loves to spin out. I mean, it'll be prettier than playing it, so... It'll be worth it, so... I'll just end this part quick, so... Since we're moving on to the same thing next time, so thank you for watching, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, leave feedback in the comments if possible to help me improve. For all my Twitter for updates and previous upcoming videos, feel free to suggest missions for me to play, or to make missions of your own for me to play, like everyone else is doing. Because they're a bit crazy, they have too much time on their hands. They could be going out and doing something wonderful, but no, they're just making rubbish missions for me. I mean, great missions. Oh god. <laughs> I've misspoken now. They're all, they're all gonna get me in the comments. I meant great, I swear. Oh god. Anyway, was he up there before? Oh, I suppose he was. Whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna end this part. We'll play the next four, the last half of this mission pack next time, and maybe there'll be some exciting, you know, plot twists or something. This agency will turn out to be working for Fred Gorman. That's about the best plot twist I can think of, so, you know, might as well happen. Or maybe we'll just kill people for the main of it and nothing else will happen, but, you know, whatever. So, we'll find out next time. See you in mission. No, in. Episode 22, there we go. I ruined my outro. I ruined everything. I ruined everything.